full suspension upgrade coming up. We are replacing the current suspension of our Land Rover Defender with an ARB1, the Oldman MU BP51 kit. Hey, I'm in here. In this video, you'll learn why we chose this suspension over another one. You'll watch us struggle doing the job right in front of our home, and you'll be introduced to our brand new partner in adventure, ARB 4x4 accessories. Honestly, we did ask ourselves what was the best idea, bring it to a garage or do it by ourselves in a not so convenient place. But you know, four-wheel drive owners tend to take the complicated path. No, the reality is that there are three reasons that made up our minds. Expand our skills, the fact that it's an ARB kit and obviously save some money. The fact that it's a full suspension kit from ARB keeps us confident that the installation should be done without major issues, nor the need to adapt any parts. The R&D research and development is real concerning this well-known company. This means trustworthy engineering is put into all of their parts. And last reason, maybe the most important for those who like to go on adventures with their 4x4, do it ourselves to expand our skills and knowledge of our vehicle. Yes, doing the job to be more experienced if we have to replace a broken suspension part when overlanding. If we can do it here, I think we can do it almost anywhere. Why replace our current suspension for Allman MU BP51 shocks and coil springs? Our suspension kit is simply dead and when we need to replace some parts, we always try to upgrade for better. The main upgrade concerning our shocks is that the BP51s are not only adjustable for compression, but also for rebound. I highly recommend you go read the detailed information before only checking out the price. I added a link in the description box. The technology, development and manufacturing doesn't only come down to the main point I expose. It's clearly way more than that. We currently have Pro Fender adjustable shocks with remote reservoir and heavy duty springs. We drove about 80,000 kilometers with this suspension system and it's had its time. We can feel it's used, it doesn't do its job anymore and needs to be replaced. By the way, we highly recommend going for shocks with remote reservoir. They will last well over time and you won't need to replace them so often. So they are more sustainable than the regular ones. For example, they won't overheat as much as regular shock absorbers because of the additional fluid. Now, do I really need to introduce you to our new partner? ARV is an Australian company with amazing 4x4 products for off-road and overlanding. They have a great expertise in developing and engineering 4x4 parts since 1975. What we experience with their products is that they are the kind of plug and play ones. If you order the right parts for your vehicle and make the install properly, you shouldn't need to adapt anything. Cut parts or solder or drill additional holes on the ARB part, for example. We are excited ARB has joined our adventure and are really looking forward to testing out this new suspension kit off-road. What did we do before starting the work? Got more info for the install. You know, the details that make it a little easier. Easier. Washed the car, especially the suspension, sprayed some WD-40 the evening before and borrowed a bigger jack. No lift, no workshop, we're gonna do this job on the parking lot. This is how we do it at Off Track Family. <laughs> Only crossing fingers, it won't take too long. We planned two full days of work. Pas confiance. Le, le cri qui roule. Lifting and securing the car took us a lot of time on day one. I was really stressed to have it secured properly and not having a major accident while replacing the suspension. It took us more than 30 minutes because we had to redo it a few times until I was confident enough that it was okay. It's Yes, I checked it millions of times throughout the day, but conceivably everything went well. C'est mieux? Oui, c'est mieux, mais putain. Quoi? Faut être confiant, hein? Hein? Faut être confiant. Oh, ça sert à tout seul, il n'y a plus d'huile dans ce truc. Il a eu une belle vie. Et 
il a, il a, il a plus beaucoup d'une. The reality is that I'm eating leftovers and he's working. <laughs> Ça, c'est pour ça que ça pisse. Ouais. Ton shaft, il est mort là. Ouais. Il a perdu son traitement de chrome. Tu prends mes tournevis pour des burins <rire> ah, Second day of installing the suspension kit. Yesterday we managed to finish the first rear wheel and to start the second one. It took quite some time yesterday, um, but what took a lot of time was just the preparation of the car and lifting the car, securing the car. I was really stressed about that. I really wanted to make sure everything was secure and that there wouldn't be like a major accident. Everything went well and honestly it was pleasure to do this first wheel because what we realized is that all the parts are really well thought and there's a lot of research and development put into those parts because it was simply like just taking out the old parts and installing the new one no need to adapt any parts to install this uh, suspension kit from old man mu so compared to other parts that he installed previously where it was needed to drill new holes, uh, cut out some bits and pieces on the car <laughs> to install the, the parts. This isn't like this, like it's really just taking out the old parts and replacing them with new ones. So we're going to continue today and we are crossing our fingers to finish the work today. Voilà, c'est bon. Ou pas, encore une fois. Oh. 
C'est bon. We managed to install the BP-51 suspension kit in three days, knowing that we took our time and fixed and painted some other parts while working on the suspension. We can already feel the difference and be sure we will keep you updated with an honest review later on this year. Take care and see you in the next one.